Neck had been built since 1861. Right, so here we are, Belfast. Yeah. Again. Again. Looks pretty spectacular, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. There's a lot of things I want to buy while we're over in Northern Ireland, particularly, well, you know what I'm after at the moment, which is yeah. really trad, Irish furniture wherever possible. Yeah. The, the, the goal is 18th century Irish furniture. Isn't it always? Well, it is always, <laughs> wherever we are. Um, I'd like some upholstered furniture, garden antiques, art, and whatever else takes our fancy, to be perfectly honest, but I'm looking for just really good quality. But we're going to kick off. We're going to go and see Justin. Remember Justin on the square on antiques? The square. Yeah, yeah, nice fun. He has expanded, apparently, a lot. Not himself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like expanded. we have. Like, yeah. yeah, we've expanded, yeah, yeah. but he's apparently gone huge now. So um, yeah. we're going to go and see him. Just try the corner. Oh, excellent. Yeah. yeah. Just a short distance from the shipbuilding district is On the Square Emporium, one of the biggest antiques warehouses in Ireland. It sells everything from Irish period pieces right through to mid century design. It's owned by dealer Justin Lowry. We've been going for seven years now. We moved from uh, the last location four years ago to uh, this new uh, double warehouse. We've now got over 14,000 square feet, so we just keep on growing and we've filled nearly every square inch of it. Hello. Hi guys, how are we right. doing? How are you? How are good. You? Well, good to see you. The square. Good to have you yeah. back. <laughs> You've expanded, haven't you? Yeah, it's slightly bigger <laughs> now. You've gone nuts. Well, we decided we, back then we were selling stuff on commission. We were doing, fin still finishing off with auctions. Finished yeah. all that, buying and selling. Forget the admin, just straightforward, buy and sell. It's, it's, and it's much better. easier. Yes. <laughs> it's much easier. So, that was easier, and then we grew. 14,000 square feet, and we're full. This is packed. I mean, he has gone for it in a very big way. It takes an awful lot of time to buy this much stuff. That's interesting. Where'd you get that from? An estate sale about a year ago. Can we get through? Can we that? move some stuff yeah. so I can get to a bit closer yeah. into that one? Can I? I'll take it off. Sorry, you haven't got any space left, Justin. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> the problem. <laughs> you need to sell some stuff. What I wanted to buy when I came to Northern Ireland was 18th century Irish furniture, which is very hard to get hold of the good stuff. It's a beautifully graduated, tall chest, phenomenal colour, incredibly original. This has got what I'm after in spade loads. It's one of the nicest I've seen. This George II plum mahogany chest of drawers was made in Ireland in around 1740. Raised on bracket feet with seven perfectly graduated drawers still retaining their original ebonized handles, it's a superb example of Irish furniture. With some sympathetic restoration, it could be worth around £2,500. How much is this to me today? We could do it for 900. Seven and a half? Eight and a half. Eight. I'll do it. Thank you very much. There you go. Lovely. All of that beautiful, purpley, faded Irish loveliness cost me 800 pounds. I'm going to spend about 400 quid on it. And then you will have an exceptionally simple provincial piece, but of, of real charm. It's a gem. Very happy. I'm loving the mix, mate. Really Thank loving you. it. I think it's great. I, I, I think you've done phenomenally well. It's great. Buying sharks by look of it. Yeah. It's a real shark. It's a real, That's a real shark. shark. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of everything. <laughs> what have we got on that? Can we pull this out? Yes, yeah, certainly. Horny Do you know stand. what? It's a horny thing. It's a yes. horny stand. Yeah. These are sort of people don't really like them. I love them. I think they're a great looking thing. I think they're just a bit crazy. Yeah. This quirky and unique mid-19th century hat and coat stand is Scottish in origin. Made from mahogany and sitting on gilt metal ball feet, it still has the original painted tin drip tray and pewter finials to the cow horn hooks. It could be worth around £650. So what's the damage on that one, then? Five nine five. what can you do? Do it 500. Four and a half? Done. Sorry. Four and a half. Thank you. 
It's a new. It's, it's got a couple of decent bits to this, isn't it? That's a great shape. Yeah. And having all the tips yes, on it, all, yeah. that's really unusual. Yes. They're usually missing. Yeah. Paid 450 for it, which is probably right on the limit, to be perfectly honest, because it was such a nice one, I thought I'll pay up. Usually I'd only pay a couple of hundred pounds for them, but it's, it's a good one. This here, I noticed on the way past, is it a, like a locker room bench? Yeah. Came out of a golf club, so you got lots of marks from the golf shoes. This double-sided pitch pine gentleman's club locker room bench was made in Ireland in the early 20th century. Despite over 100 years of wear and tear, including golf shoe spike marks, it's in good unrestored condition and could be worth around 900 pounds. What's the damage? 495? 400? You reckon? I like it. Yeah, I've got all really the hooks. Nice. Got all the hooks. Yeah. 400 quid. 350 sounds great. It's a lot of work in it, right? 400. Yeah, I know, it is hard. <laughs> <laughs> 380. 380 sold. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Cool. I'm happy with that. Good That's job. Great. Yep, lovely. I'll just I'll catch up. <laughs> there was this as well, which I saw. Is, is that an African tribal uh, mask? It's a West African mask, Sierra Leone. Okay. It's got certificates or something inside or information. Tribal head purchased from the convent auction in Belfast. Sierra Leone Bunda tribe. Female initiation mask. God. Occasionally something just catches my eye that I haven't really dealt with before. And in this case, it's this really quite remarkable sort of. I recognise it as sort of some sort of African tribal headpiece, but there's just something about it. This hand-carved wooden tribal mask comes from the West African country of Sierra Leone. Made sometime in the 19th century, the wood has aged to a dark and rich colour over the years. A superb decorative piece with cultural significance. It could be worth around £850. How much can that be? Look at 350 on it, could do it. 300 Let me just read one. Looks a bit like you, actually, John. It's starting to gain... I'm starting to gain this sort of chinage. <laughs> yeah. That's why I've got a beard, cos it hides a multitude of chins. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I've never bought one. I know nothing about it, but there's just something about that one. It's just really got a great sculptural thing. What do you say, 300? 300. I'll take a chance on it. Good Thank job. you, mate. Yeah. Thank Seriously. you. That. I think that's really It's unusual. got the information as well, which is good. Yeah. Just have that, you know, on a console table, and it sets a mood, and that feels right to me. But just as a piece of art, really rather wonderful. And for 300 quid, I'll take my chances. There's a bit out here that I wanted to just have a slightly better look at. It's this big dollop of a pot here. On the stand, where do you get this from? This expert, Drew Pritchard, is in Northern Ireland, where he set himself the goal of filling the van with some of the best antiques the country has to offer. You haven't got any space left, Justin. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> the problem. <laughs> you need to sell some stuff. And in the capital city of Belfast, at one of the largest antique warehouses in the country, he's bidding on an oversized mid-20th century planter and pedestal. Did for 500? No, come on. Really? That's, no. It's a good grant. No. Two. It's just compo. 350. Well, we know where we're going to meet, don't we? 300. Okay. Deal? Done. Thank you. Take I'll have away. that. Thank you very much. Right, we're finished. Let's get the, uh, let's get the van. We're done. It's been a really good day. Great start. I bought what I came here for. It was well worth coming, and it was really worth seeing what Justin's doing. It's quite remarkable. Well done. It's good to have the boys back, and good to have them in the new place. Good to hear a lot of good things that Drew have to say, and a lot of things sold. So I think we did, all in all, a very good day. After a night of Belfast hospitality, the boys are on the road again, with a brief detour via one of Northern Ireland's most famous landmarks, the Giant's Causeway. 
a collection of over 40,000 basalt columns that are believed to be 60 million years old. Wow, this is incredible, isn't it? It's all volcanic, apparently. It is spectacular. Oh, we've got your treat, popped it in your pocket. Yellow Man is very particularly Northern Irish. It's basically sugar and butter. Is it good? Tastes like sugary butter. What? Mm. 